Hey, what's up guys? Sunny Lee here. It's been a while. I've been going through a lot of things lately. Today, just a quick video. I just want to talk about this Slim Wallet by Cullen Wayne. This is their brand over here. Cullen Wayne. It's this uh, aluminum uh, slim card holder wallet. Beautiful jewelry-like design. And what makes this work is these two slabs of aluminum they're sandwiched together and it has this um, elastic that probably goes around inside each of the slabs to really secure all your cards and last thing about the design is it has this notch so with this notch you can actually fan out your cards like that it also comes with this nifty small money clip which you clip onto the side it can hold a few bills. I wish it could hold more because uh, I noticed that if I pack a lot of bills there, this thing gets loose. So um, that's something you need to uh, take in mind. And yeah, what I have in this wallet, I have two credit cards, two IDs, and my nifty little Swiss Army card. So in this little package here, I have all these tools. I have scissors, uh, the knife, a pin, flashlight, screwdriver, magnifying glass, a pin, a pen, and tweezers. So pretty nifty, right? Anyway, it's been my daily driver wallet since it was gifted to me by my brother last April. And I really like it. I like how slim it is. Uh, it doesn't have that bulge, unlike traditional bifold wallets where there would normally be a bulge in your pocket, uh, very unsightly, and it sort of ruins an outfit in a way. This is their Monaco variant, by the way, which means it's a brushed finish with the chamfered edge. I think this is the key uh, feature of this Monaco version. It has this jewelry-like finish, which plays around with the light really well. It reminds me of um, like high-quality watches, you know, like they would have different finishes with a polished um, chamfered edge and the brushed. Uh, contrasting finish for other surfaces looks really nice with the light i guess to start with the pros of the cullen wayne monaco i love the minimalist and luxurious design it's exactly just what you need to carry your cards as well as there's nothing much to it you don't have that um that kick out thing for rfid wallets out there um, which fans out your cards automatically it's just two slabs and this elastic and an optional money clip if you carry cash. I love how it feels in the hand and in this black colorway it really makes it feel very luxury. So um, you know black is often associated with luxury so yeah I really like the design. Number two is it's durable and secure so this really protects your cards from RFID theft. The bands on the side really make it secure for your cards it's really strong so you can see here i'm trying to rip it open and it's almost impossible or if you shake it around absolutely no issues and the band has not shown any wear and tear at all in my five months of usage and for the third pro of the cullen wayne monaco it also makes up for a nice unboxing experience so it's going to make up for a really good gift for someone so Great job, my brother, <laughs> for gifting this. And yeah, since you carry this around with you, I mean, it really makes up for a memorable gift, you know? Having something that you have with you all the time, you know, it's, it's nice, it's a nice gift. So those are all the pros of this Slim Wallet. Let's go to the cons. The first con is it requires a bit of dexterity and practice to use, because unlike normal wallets, you can actually operate with just one hand. You can just open it, grab what you need, and then Pay for whatever you need to pay for for this you actually need to use your finger and then into the notch you slide out the cards and then you fan it out like that and um, yeah it just takes a bit of dexterity to do so um, it's not very user-friendly for maybe handy capable people so that's something you need to keep keep in mind and the next thing about usability is the bands can be really tight, especially when you newly unbox this. It's, it can be very difficult to slide in cards. But then fortunately the design has this rounded corner over here, 
which really lets you slide them slide the cards easily i guess there's a solution to that the next con is the limited storage capacity so this applies to both cards and the bills so as for the cards they advertise that this can store up to 12 cards however in my testing the sweet spot would be six to seven cards maybe eight would be stretching it for me with 12 cards i don't think it will be very practical to fan out like this with all 12 might not be the best if you need to carry more than eight cards so due to the limited storage capacity you'll really need to prioritize which cards you bring here otherwise you'll be left in fringe situations where you don't have this one membership card that you use once or twice a month like for me like when i'm at uniqlo or watson's i don't have my sm advantage card <laughs> so um, maybe i should add it you know it's the only thing i miss to be honest in connection with the limited storage capacity is also the bill storage so with this money clip uh it's been good so far you just need to fold your bills like this but then uh, i noticed that if you have a lot of bills here like let's say around maybe f more than five bills it begins to really stretch out so um and if you come back to just one bill it's it won't be as secure so it's just something to keep in mind whenever the money clip loosens you can actually easily just re-tighten it so that shouldn't be an issue i've done it myself as well it used to be way looser at some point so i just uh, it's been able to re-tighten itself so i guess that's okay and last thing about this money clip is that it requires a bit of mindfulness when you take it out your pocket because you can't easily just pull it out like this because this money clip can get caught and you know it can just slide off so it requires a bit of mindfulness when you take it out your pocket you need to take it out like this or like this you can't take it out like this you know so just something else to keep in mind a lot of these things are just minor they're just things that you need to learn when you start using this thing but yeah it just requires a bit of mindfulness and lastly it's not such a big deal for others but there is no coin storage in this thing so if you're used to a regular bifold you can normally put a few coins in there so with this you know when you require like just a few small coins yeah you won't have it zero coin storage here so you'll end up having loose change in your bag unless you have a coin pouch separately so yeah i mean i hate handling coins guys and as for pricing the cullen wayne monaco costs 1999 philippine pesos or around 40 us dollars in my opinion it's an okay price for this nicely designed wallet it prioritizes form over function a little bit and for me i think the sweet spot for price would be around 1200 i think that would be a really good price for this maybe if you can find it uh, on sale or some sort of holiday discount that would be very ideal i think 1999 is a bit stretching it you know 1200 pesos would be around 24 dollars i think that would be a really sweet spot for this and it won't be a sunny lee review without saying who this wallet is for for me i think this wallet is for minimalists people that value design and people that value style particularly men because i think men usually don't have bags around so they need to carry smaller wallets uh, with them and a small wallet would be advantageous because you won't have that bulge in your pocket which is very unsightly so um if you plan to take outfit photos this would be more ideal versus a large dad style bifold and i think this wallet is not for leather lovers so i know a lot of people there love leather they love the smell they love caring for leather the history behind leather well there's no leather here so if you want a leather wallet this is not for you if you heavily rely on cash and coins this won't be for you either if you don't have other financial products to use for payments maybe if you have gcash you know i <laughs> mean it would be okay you can just carry ids here but uh, if you use a lot of cash and coins this is not for you and lastly if you need to carry more than eight cards 
8 and above, I don't think this wallet is for you either. For me, it's an easy choice. I love the design. I love how streamlined it is. It can keep all my bills and all my IDs, even my Swiss Army card, all in this small package. And to be honest, all of its issues you can sort of deal with. You just need to learn it after a week or so. And if you have a bag in your car or a bag that you carry with you, you can easily carry another wallet there with everything, like everything else, like your school alumni ID, your membership cards, your all the rest of your cards, essentially. And so that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Also, life update, I'm going to the United States on October 2, and um, I guess this is sort of one of the last videos for a while in this studio, and um, I guess I'll catch you when I'm at the United States and um, I can vlog about it my whole journey it's honestly not that difficult because the, the US is open it really is no big deal uh, as long as you have a visa a passport you can really go it's really no problem yeah I'll be there for five months and um, I guess my next videos will be from there also as for the studio just to quickly show you guys what's changed so we've had the AC replaced so it's now a more modern quiet version and um, it should be less audible now through the video so now I don't have to sweat <laughs> now I don't have to turn off the AC and you know film the video and start sweating in this greenhouse sort of setup so overall really great upgrades we had the all the windows replaced so we have that window and we have this huge window here. I love it. I can see this beautiful tree outside. However, it can be a bit bright because we had the curtains or blinds removed because they were really old as well. But really happy with the upgrades. Uh, really happy and excited for my trip as well. I have no idea what to expect. I guess this will still be my daily driver for the foreseeable future. And I'll see you guys in that next video.